Peace and Harmony family, it's your girl Conscious Rose, your favorite doula, and I am back with a video today. So today I really want to discuss what my doula experience has been like, and I want to talk about just everything so far. So, and I want to really say a few things about it that I don't think people really realize when it comes to being a doula and what comes with it so um i'm gonna be sharing that today and yeah and shout out to me <laughs> because this smoothie honey i did a mango berry blend some agave what else i put i put peanut butter i put some maca roots and a banana in here baby <laughs> this ain't so good but anyways, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so first off, before we get into it, I need to tell people why I became a doula in the first place. It was because of my own experience with birthing. And not only that, it's just I hear so much about Black maternal mortality and how Black women are the highest. And I knew that before I got pregnant like I feel like I've known that for a while especially in my younger 20s that just seemed like when it came to having children that was like a normal thing so it wasn't until I experienced my first my first hospital birth and it was just it was just very cold I just remember it being very cold very serious very um I felt like a lab rat, you know, like I felt like I wasn't really being taken care of. I felt like I wasn't being heard. I very much so felt like I was being neglected. And even when it came down to certain decisions that I was, that I just wasn't a part of that happened to me, raised several alarms. And I, it wasn't until after I had my birth in a hospital where a good sister of mine, she recommended that I become a doula. And I'm like, I've never even heard of that. Like, I have no idea what you talk about. Then she explained it to me and I was like, oh, okay, well. Mm. And I realized that was the first time God was just like, this is your purpose. This is your calling. And I just never took key to it right then and there. But... That hospital visit was very um, cold. It was very lonely. Even after I gave birth, cause I had a C-section, because again, I was a part, I was not a part of a decision that was made for me. And you know, that could have cost me my life when you really think about it, you know? if And it lets me know that if us as black women, we know that we have a high maternal mortality rate, then why do we continue to go to places that get us in this type of feeling? And and I feel like I feel like now it's to the point where I would know intuitively like this is not a space for me. And I don't feel safe here. You know? But yeah, even afterwards the nurses that were coming to me, they weren't like they weren't really checking on me or anything like that. Like they can't, well, they were, but they were checking on, I guess, making sure my vitals and everything was okay. The babies was okay. But as far as like actually helping and, um, you know, being attentive, it wasn't there. Like, I feel like if I was a nurse and I had patients, I feel like I would check on them pretty often. It wasn't, I never got checked on until I had to like, until they came and checked my numbers, they came in, came right back out, didn't say too much. Sometimes didn't even say nothing, you know? And um, that's not an environment that I wanted to be in. And I'm like, man, how many, how many other women are experiencing that same thing? So I, that was a no for me. And then afterwards too, they even like they give you a, a pamphlet of items that you can choose to eat 
let me just tell you as a postpartum as i'm learning postpartum too all of the things that they offered were crazy like there was no nutrition in them their way their thing of saying it's nutrition it's nutritional as if they don't add any flavor it's very bland but they were giving me chicken just all these like fatty foods like or i feel all of these unhealthy choices you know especially with me being plant-based so anything outside of that is kind of unhealthy but <laughs> it's not kind of unhealthy but I'm kind of biased by that, but, <laughs> but moving forward, like they, I was putting things down. They weren't even giving me the things that I wanted. They were just kind of just throwing me stuff and I never ate the food, you know? So just, it's the neglect. They're there for you whenever it's time for you to leave. Yeah. They get all hold the whole nurse thing that everybody come in here. Yeah. We're going to release her. They're going to make sure you stuff pack. All this stuff. Like that's cool. They want you up out of here. But I think that being a doula definitely shows more of a sisterhood. It, it shows a better relationship, helping moms to be comfortable versus just a lab rat. And then that was the first one. Then the second one was when I had a miscarriage in 2020 and... I feel like that was a very serious situation that I felt like I literally was going to lose my life. And um, and I just remember me bleeding a lot and I was in the hospital. I went to the emergency room because I would not stop bleeding. Like I seriously would not stop bleeding. And I, and it was a lot coming out. So I was, used, I was losing like a lot of blood. Like I was wearing the... Uh, the what you call them the little diaper panties three overnight pads from the front to the middle to the to the back um and i i think it got to a point where i had to wear two sets of those so i got like six pads on and, and some panties so, <laughs> you know and it's still blood was still seeping through and then i went to the hospital to the emergency room and it was to the point where it was coming down my leg y'all like i it was i'm not talking about just no like little drizzle like i was dead i was dead ass bleeding like it was like when i sat up because it was like my pad when i sat down it was collecting it and then when i stood up it just came down my leg so i was leaving a trail literally a trail of blood in the hospital y'all and then i was feeling like extra lightheaded and then when i went to the back they wasn't even like attentive like i'm just standing here and it's just a pile of blood is just like literally, literally, <laughs> it's literally just, I'm standing in a puddle at this point, you know? And for me, it wasn't until I became that angry black woman, like, hey, I'm here bleeding to death right now. Like I'm kind of, my foot is kind of in like a bloody puddle and I would like to know where I can go and sit down before I get like crazy, you know? <laughs> and then that's when they want to be like, oh my gosh, like, you know, stuff like that. But the point is that I'm trying to make is you really have to really, really take care of yourself, become educated when it comes to you as a woman knowing your body your spirit your mind knowing everything about yourself and being able to protect yourself the only way you can protect yourself is if you know things you know knowledge you know wisdom you you're educated because if i would have been educated in this stuff i would have made so many different choices like so many different choices. It was not until afterwards where I'm studying these things and I'm educating myself, I'm informing myself on all of the, these different possibilities, these these uh, clinical studies, these herbs and all this stuff that I, I it clicked to me like, I'm a doula. <laughs> but I love it though. So I became a doula and an advocate after those experiences and then I also joined um, miscarriage like groups, you know, for moms who were who didn't really know how to cope with it. And I'm it's so many women that experienced miscarriages. It's crazy, 
And it's it's literally become a norm. And that's not normal. <laughs> it's really not normal. So I just, that's why I became a doula, my story, other women's stories, and just realizing as a collective, as a unit, as a community, we have got to become more educated and informed on the things that are happening when it comes to Black maternal health. And we, if we have more classes, whether that's postpartum doula, it does not matter what type of doula you are, spiritual doula, death doula, uh, fertility doula, postpartum doula, full spectrum doula, sex doula, it does not matter because your position, your purpose, your role for that is going to help others become more educated in it. So I love what I do. <laughs> I wish I would have did this a long time ago. <laughs> but nonetheless, that's why I became a doula. I seen myself and I seen that I was finna literally pass out in the hospital when they started taking my baby out and I was losing so much blood. I was having anxiety attack at the same time. I tried to get up, was falling down, okay? Literally. <laughs> it, it's crazy, you know? And we think these things are normal and it's not. So I became a doula because it feels like a duty. It feels like a purpose. It feels like a revolution <laughs> is what it feels like. Because at the end of the day, when you really think about it, these are this as as us as women, we're literally gatekeepers to the next nation to come here. Why would we not want to educate ourselves? Why would we not want to build a sisterhood, become close? and protect each other and be a voice for each other. I started thinking about that and I was like, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope, but it's still serious at the same time because if more of us knew of these things, I think that it could definitely save another soul, you know, or it could also help be the one to help bring life back life or life back <laughs> you know so being a doula is a very very important role like it's a very important role role getting tongue tied very important role because it's just you like you're literally helping to take care of new souls that are being brought into this world, into this realm. You're helping something so innocently come into this realm to help continue to build a nation, like literally nurturing that. And you're also here to nurture mom back to herself as well, because it is a rites of passage. You having a baby is a rites of passage. Mom has to experience Mom has to experience like this, this ascension spiritually. And the reason why so many moms, especially black women, die in that fourth trimester is because the it's, it's a lack of support. Moms spiritually have to be guided through this transition. It's a transition. It's a shift that is happening spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. Like your soul is literally being upgraded. <laughs> it's how I can take it. Like it's like you're literally being initiated into motherhood. You know, you really are. And in any initiation process, you have to be guided through it. Because of so much that is going to be changing, changing and altering spiritually. And when we understand that, when we understand that, I think it will really bring more women in our community together. Because one thing that being a doula has taught me is sisterhood. And it's something that you really have to be really called to do because you're literally using your time to help nurture somebody else so they can be able to take care of their little mini nation or 
their their purpose you know you're helping them stay grounded through this change and that's beautiful that's something i would never want to change <laughs> nothing i would ever want to change i love it i love it i love it i i it, it makes me look at women differently i have a different level of compassion for women you know i can feel them i can feel them when something is just when something got them down, I can even feel their pregnancy symptoms, y'all. I swear, <laughs> it gets it gets super it gets super close. You know, you like I feel like as being called to be a doula is to be called to be a protector of a soul, whether that's one that's coming in or you're helping to nurture that mom and helping to bring in that baby. It's giving soul contracts are always completed. Like this can are always created. And um, I think that's the beautiful thing that I, that God has gifted me with. <laughs> it's really beautiful because you're literally a protector of like babies, family. Like, <laughs> I love that so much. Huh? I love what I do. I ain't never smiled like this in my life. <laughs> never. But, um, but yes. It helps you understand sisterhood and it helps you get a better idea of it because when you're in that space and you see a mom coming from who who you know like prepping like oh it's getting real to to sometimes they feel like they cannot do it and they don't want to do it and they want to give up and we know that having to encourage this mom and speak life into this mom will help her through this process because I've seen, you know, I've seen it. A woman say that she cannot do it and she's tired. And you really have to have a lot of energy for that. Like you're literally like a baby is literally coming through you. And I don't, I don't think a lot of us in our community really understand that. Like your body is literally pushing a baby out and you need energy. That's why when you do have a doula, she should be helping you as far as nutrition, making sure that you're staying hydrated. Because I remember in my pregnancy um, or during my labor, I was so dehydrated and I feel like I didn't have no energy at all. That's why high, being hydrated is a necessity. That's why they tell you when you are pregnant to up your water intake because it's going to take a lot of energy for you to be able to continue you know and then it, it comes from them feeling like they can't do it to them doing like a whole like whole 360 and like next thing you know you see them be so strong and you see them be so powerful and just oh you see them just doing what a woman does <laughs> i love that so much and you see it and it's like i have no choice but to respect my sister seriously when it's something about when you see another woman being a woman and and taking control of it and also just seeing another woman surrender in that in that essence it is just it's beautiful it really is beautiful it is it is it is it is so i love being a doula and my experience so far has been, it has just been amazing. Like, I, I have nothing to complain about. I love everything of what I do. I love everything that I'm learning. And I'm so grateful and thankful. And I give so much thanks to my mentor. My mentor is so amazing. Like, I ain't never in my life seen a woman like her be so passionate it almost made me want to cry <laughs> i never in my life had um seen someone so passionate so um fulfilled so appreciative and just just intuitive like amazing like seriously <laughs> and just to see her comfortability and just seeing her adapt and maneuver through different 
I guess, case scenarios, it's, it's really beautiful having a mentor and one that is actually, you have mentors that that just want the money and then you have mentors who here to do their job or here do to, they're here to be of service and do what it takes. Like you really do see a difference. And I'm grateful and thankful to have been presented with that from God, from the universe, because wow, wow, is all I can say. So I give thanks. I give so much thanks for that. And with her guidance, she has just helped me through a lot of it and understanding it spiritually, mentally, physically. And I, I just give thanks. Like I just, my that's my experience. Like my experience has been very eye-opening. It has been very, I just give thanks. Like I can't even, the only thing I do is give thanks because, and it's also as a doula, it's showing me that you definitely have to be in tune with yourself on a whole nother level to really um to really understand everything that's what's happening on this spectrum like on all aspects you really have to be in tune with prayer you really have to be tapped into your spirituality to even be doing this and i said god <laughs> so yeah that's how i feel y'all if y'all like my video make sure you like share and subscribe